Hi everyone, it is Wednesday and it is time for another Art Ventures video. So today we are making a paper plate llama. So pretty much you really just need a paper plate. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter if you have this size or if you have a smaller size, that will work fine too. Um, you will also want to have some scissors, glue, um, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. If you don't have that, um, squeeze a bulgo glue or um, a glue stick will work just fine. And then you're going to want to have some crayons, um, colored pencils, or markers. Okay, just something that you can color with. So, are you ready? Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper plate. You're going to look at it and say, hmm, where is the middle? And you're going to cut it in half, okay? So try to judge it and cut it perfectly in the middle. Or does it really matter? It does not really matter. But I'm going to cut it in half. So what do you think this is? Smile? Mm -mm. A hat? Mm -mm. So this will be the body of the llama. Then we're going to use this half. Guess what we're going to use this half for? Well, that doesn't look like a llama, does it? So we're going to use this half to make the head, a tail, and four legs, all just out of this. Pretty cool, right? So I'm gonna set the body over there. See, oh, you're also gonna need a pencil, or really you could use your crayon or marker. I'm having a pencil because I make mistakes sometimes. So I just wanna be able to erase if I'm like, eh, I don't really like the way that looks. So take your plate with straight edge or maybe wavy edge if you don't cut straight like me. You're going to draw the llama's head. So that llama has ears, right? And they usually stick up, right? Okay, so I'm going to draw two stand up straighty kind of ears, all right? Now, you're not being graded on this. This is not going to go in the art show at school or anything. This is just for fun. So it does not have to be perfect, okay? So if you want your ear to be really tall on this side, but then one right, right next to it really short, totally, totally fine. So let's go ahead and get started drawing. So I'm gonna make my ear, I guess, come out like that. Do you wanna make your ears the same size? Totally up to you. And then it's gonna go into the llama's head and then down for a neck. Pow! Okay, that's it. That's all you had to do. So now I'm going to cut it, okay? So I'm just gonna cut out the llama's neck and head and ears that I just drew. And then I will show you how to do, it's kind of hard to cut on the plate because like my hand is so big. Okay, make it easier. I trimmed it up a bit. So I'm cutting around the face. Now the ears, I'm taking my time so I don't cut my fingers, right? I don't want that. So this is just a super quick little craft you can make just to give yourself a little bit of break in the afternoon. It's always fun to make a craft or do some art, okay? Llama head. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do a tail. So I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of this because remember this is our body. So like I can glue the tail kind of off like that. Now do I want it to be pointy? I don't know. Do I want it to be kind of curved and round? Your choice. What kind of tail do you want your llama to have? You can make it a square tail for all I care. Whatever you wanna do. And then just cut out some legs. Now, the good thing is you don't have to make these legs even in length because when you glue them on here, you can make them look even. I'll show you. Sounds kind of weird how I just said that, but I really do know what I'm talking about. So just cut out some leggies. You like how I said that, leggies? Not a real word, is it? Okay, so here's leg number one. Now see, look, I can even keep that on there because I'm going to glue it in the back and you're not gonna see that messed up little piece, are ya? Mm -mm. That's the tricky part. So go ahead and cut yourself out. How many legs, how many legs do llamas have? Four, so cut out four llama legs. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead next and start coloring. I just wanna show you some examples of how you could color your llama. Just some ideas, because a lot of llamas are kind of light in color, right? So I'm gonna keep most of my plate uh, white, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead, because sometimes they have, um, okay, I don't even know if this is on anymore, but like, Go Diego Go, uh, Dora the Explorer. If those cartoons are still on, which I don't know if they really are, I'm hoping they are, but sometimes there's a llama on there and then they have like, um, I don't even know, what is it? A sheet, a blanket, a blanket, we'll say a blanket that goes on the llama's back and they're very colorful. So that's what I'm going to kind of do here. Make it colorful on the back of my llama. I think I need that to be a little bit more even. So I'm using crayons. These happen to be metallic. So it's very fancy here at Town Hall. So I'm gonna go ahead and color. And like I said, you, I mean, you could color the whole llama polka dots. You could color the whole llama stripes. It's up to you. I am starting out with metallic blue. Now this is probably like my second time ever using metallic crayons. They're very, very cool. Um, I mean, they work just like any regular crayon. They're just called metallic, so I don't think that makes them better. They're just cool to look at, I guess. Okay, so I've got some blue. Now I'm gonna go with another color. Let's do like this purplish. What is this called? Rasmic Berry. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and come around. And my lines are not perfect because, you know, it's just not, it's not how I do things. Look at this. Getting this craft underway. So again, I'm just going to continue decorating my blanket on my llama. So, Hope you're at this stage of the coloring. I just know sometimes the edge of the blankets kind of have like little beads or strings that are hanging down. So that's what I'm pretending I'm making here. A little pattern. Maybe it's not cool to you. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so here is my on the back, I need to get my head. So then you also need to decide, like, do you want the head on this side or do you want the head on this side? Lots of choices, lots of decisions to make. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw, like, um, I don't know if this is gonna show up if it's dark enough. I guess so, okay. I'm trying to just make it dark so you can see. And then like the inside of the ears, I'm gonna put a little bit of, what is this color? This is shimmering blush. Yes, I know. Another fancy metallic crayon that I'm using. They kind of like have a little bit of glitter, it looks like. So I'll have a fancy llama. pushing so hard I'm breaking it. Oh no. My llama is going to look kind of happy. Um, you don't have to have a happy llama if you don't want one. So here's my happy llama. Look how happy. And then I'm kind of ready to glue. So hopefully you are too. If not, press pause till you're caught up. So now, like I said, um, I'm ready to glue. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun because that's what I have access to here today. If you don't have a hot glue gun, no big deal. You could use a glue stick, um, squeezable glue, whatever you have available. Just remember, if you are using a hot glue gun, obviously, what do you wanna do? You wanna be careful. You wanna make sure that you have permission, right? Look, I'm even trying to be careful. Look at this. 
because I usually have bad luck and I burn myself because I try to push down too quickly and I get burnt. I'm trying to be cautious today. I'm trying to set a good example. All right, next I guess I'm ready for my legs. Now, like I said, it doesn't really matter um, if they're the same size when you cut them because when you glue them, we're gonna have them kind of underneath. So see how I'm kind of making them look like they're the same size? And then I'm just gonna glue them down. Fun watching me glue? I hope so. Got stringy glue all over the place. All right, where's my other leg? Right here. Oh, again, I'm just getting the back legs together now. So the way I'm doing it, it kind of looks like the, leg, the legs are like crisscrossed. Not that they're sitting crisscross applesauce because I don't think llamas sit like that. Could be wrong, but just a guess. Okay, that's hot. Remember, told you to be careful. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so. This tail, I don't think is as long as I want it to be. So I'm gonna switch a little. That's good. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't fall down, it's not dry, but here is my paper plate llama. Kind of hard to see at this angle with my head. But there you go, kiddos. Super easy craft, super fun, super cute, super wonderful. Super Wednesday. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.